Assalamu alaikum This is Ushan and I hope you guys are doing well and today I'm going to do another reacting video which is called The Greatest Women Spoken World by Talk Islam Yeah, so let's start You know, something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis. When rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless. When a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is. And when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them. To the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive. It's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic. And you can call me unrealistic, but just listen to the statistics. 7 in 10 men view porn while over 75 million are addicted. 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making 1 in 4 searches sexually related it's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views it's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty which is so misconstrued as we judge each other's looks off of facebook likes Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like see we are so obsessed with our outside we have slowly lost sight of who we really are in real life. I mean, it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem. Looking at these magazines, thinking they have to look like what they see. Please, you are worth much more than a 2D image on a screen. You are a living, breathing human being. If only you knew what you really mean. Just look in your history books and begin to read. Of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve And you will surely see with certainty Females like Fatima Al-Fihri who opened the first ever university Rufayd Al-Islamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery And Haisha bint Abi Bakr, the greatest female scholar in eternity It's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth Like Mary the mother of Jesus, chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers, a woman who stood strong even when she was abused, falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do, so it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her, for she knew that God was Ar razaq and her ultimate provider, and she had a trust in him alone. Just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, a woman who was brave and courageous, stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this, a woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death, for she gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next. Next up Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her. Just like her daughter, Fatima, the master of all women in paradise. A woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as Zahra, the splendid one with the most generous of hearts. A woman who gave up so much of her food she had no choice but to fast. She would fight on behalf of her father even as a little girl. And such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world. And it had nothing to do with how they looked, but for who they truly were. 
So ignore the standard of success defined by society when God has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety, regardless of your shape, your color, or your race. For God does not look at your bodies, nor does He look at your face. Rather, He looks towards your heart and checks your faith. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are, when you could be like the greatest of all women in the eyes of Allah. The greatest woman. As a, as a woman who grew up in, you know, Asian society, Asian culture, even now, what we see on the social medias, I mean, the culture now in general is biased, like what he say in the video, because, you know, like, uh, all the women, all the girls, they wants to meet the beauty standards now. Yeah. Before I was like them, I was one of them, and it was sad, it was so sad. How can I say? <sighs> Just, it was a sad story for me. Yeah, like, when I was younger, like, in the high school and I wasn't thin enough and I wasn't white enough and I had a lot of pimples on my face and I always compared myself with the girls around me like oh they are so thin you know they are so white their skin were so good those kind of stuff even even though like we always know that we have to pay more attention out on our inner self, you know, like on our mind, not our appearance. But as a woman, I can say that he's right, but it's still a bit difficult, you know, like even though even though I know that this life is temporary, it's not forever. But Somehow, if you want to survive, you have to accept the how can I say the, the the fact the the real reality that people still see your faces, they still see your appearances. How can I say? Sometimes I talk with people like this, and they'll be like, "Oh, this is so unrealistic," you know, <laughs> the way I think. I mean. So, for me, it's still a small issues that I have to deal with, you know. Even though I'm not like a lot of girls that spend a, a lot of money on the appearance, you know, like I don't have a lot of cosmetics, I don't have so many clothes, and I don't put Put, put on so much makeup, you know, like in general, I think I am a how can I say I don't know if because I'm lazy or something, but I feel more comfortable like this, you know I'm more myself, but sometimes I still will go on social media and watch those girls' pictures and, you know, but I realize that you know, photoshops exist, so, you know the fact that the social media show, showed up has two sides as well, you know, like it's more kind of entertaining but at the same time people, some people they are struggling because of this. At the beginning I was like, I always ask, ask Hussein like, um, am I thin enough, you know, am I like them, you know, but now I think it's less and less. I think so, I'm not sure because he's playing games in his room. Yeah, now I do think like the appearance is not so important like before but somehow for my own health I will still work on myself like I do work out almost every day and I also do yoga I just want to keep fit so maybe you know when I get old I will have more you know 
strength to do the things that I want because for me health is really important as well I, I, I totally understand why women they want to do this plastic surgeries on their face and on their bodies because they are not satisfied with themselves but have you ever thought about why God created you like this you know I feel like maybe it's a lesson that you have to learn in this life for you something like that I don't know I just this is what I think God is fair you know when I have something but she doesn't have or when she has something but I don't have we can't get everything that we want in this life isn't it mm. there's a really cool comment saying that I, and they say Islam doesn't respect women and do you know why? because they don't like this to see them t on this point of view because like this they wouldn't get pleasures of naked women this is one of the reasons why people hate Islam yeah I totally agree now I just feel like the more I understand about Islam the more I find the the truth can I say that the truth because I have been so you know brainwashed by those Western society and Western medias and before I mean before I was like why Muslims girls are like this you know but now when I meet the real Muslim girls I'm like it opened my eyes you know they're proud of their identities we people should respect them as well let me know what you think guys and I'll see you in the next video so thank you very much for watching and yeah see you soon Assalamu alaikum Sama. thank you Salam everyone it's your sister Yushin <laughs> what? Uh -huh. Uh -huh.